Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today, I'm getting ready to show you guys how you can make an easy and delicious quiche. And listen, I want you guys to also leave me a comment down in the comment section below and let me know, you know what, do you even know what quiche is? You know, if you had it, what's your favorite quiche? And then another thing I, want, I would like to know is, have you ever made quiche at home? Now, listen, there's no coincidence that I'm dropping this video right now. Listen, we got Mother's Day coming. You know what, it's springtime, you know, and when you think about brunch, and Mother's Day, what do we think about? A lot of people think about quiche. And a lot of us haven't even known what that is. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a breakdown on it, and I'm gonna just sum it up for you, make it real easy. Just think about quiche being an omelet inside of a pie crust. It's just that simple. So, listen, I'm not gonna over talk it. You know what, I'm gonna give you guys some suggestions. You can look right up here, you're gonna see that I got some eye cards. We're gonna start off with like a suggestion of having peach cobbler. Wouldn't that be nice to make that for your mother on Mother's Day? You know what, a super easy recipe. And then listen, you can scroll down once you hit the iCard and you can see peach cobbler, you can scroll down, you're gonna see some other recipes. All these recipes are great for Mother's Day. So with that being said, we're gonna get right into this video. Okay, here we're gonna just start off by looking at all of the ingredients. Look, just super easy. Look, that's ham already diced. I bought that at the uh, grocery store. I gotta say, just about now, you can get everything just about diced. And then for you guys that have been watching me and those of you that are new, you know that I always put the ingredients, you know, down in the description box below, along with the quantities also. So you just saw red bell peppers, you know, we got that gouda shredded, and of course we got cheddar cheese. And then right here, we got the ready-made pie crust, super easy, gotta have a pan, that's a nine inch, you know, pie pan. Now listen, and then you gotta have that, listen, okay, that's heavy whipping cream, you can use heavy whipping cream, half and half, or regular milk. Uh, I like it to be a little bit rich, and you know, I, that's why I use the uh, heavy whipping cream. There you just saw I was showing uh, white mushrooms. If you haven't uh, noticed already, like again, again, like if you listen to my uh, my intro, I said this is just nothing but really like an omelet, you know what I mean, made into a, uh, a pie, that's it. So you can put anything in, in there that you want to. I made this one like this, more so for like brunch, for like the whole family. Uh, now, you see how I'm putting in six eggs? Listen, now really it's up to you. I've made it, you know, every now and then you go and, you know, you put out all your ingredients and you get ready to make something and you don't have all the eggs, you know? So I'd have made it with four, five, and six. You use six, it'd be nice and rich along with the heavy whipping cream, but you can use four, again, five, or six. And as you can see, this is just a guy. Now, when it comes to the salt, I put in about a tablespoon, excuse me, a teaspoon of salt. You know, uh, it's really up to you. I like to just start there. That way, if I need to add a little bit more salt to it, I add to it, you know, once it's done. Okay, now once you got your cream and everything, you know, your uh, your milk and your eggs, once you have that whisked up, go ahead and set that to the side, open up your pan, your, uh, your pie crust, and then go ahead and get your pan, and then it's time to go ahead and just start, you know, adding it to the pan. Now, it looked like I'm doing a whole lot right here. I was really trying to, like, come up with some type of pattern to put on the end of that. But listen, just get it in there. Make sure you got it pushed down in the corners, you know. Once you got it done like that, and then you can come up just kind of like, I don't even know what to tell you that I do right here. I'm just like making a little design and just trying to get it where, you know, it'll look nice when I'm done. Now, when I when it comes to assembly, only thing I have to say about that is, listen, I prefer to start off with cheese on the bottom. You know what? Just start your layers. And that's what we're doing. You put cheese on there. Then I came with, you know, red onion and then a little bit more cheddar cheese. There is no right way or no wrong way. I just, from just making this, over the years, I just suggest to you guys that you just start off with a layer of cheese and after that, you add whatever you wanna add and whatever kind of layers. Now, here's where it differs from being a uh, omelet. Some of us make our omelets, we, we, you know, once we put our eggs in a bowl and we whisk them, then we add some ingredients to it. You know, only difference is here, we don't do it that way because I don't wanna mess it up. I like to get my layers. So as you see, I'm layering it, now I'm coming with the ham. You just wanna layer it how you layer it. Again, there is no right or no wrong way. Once you get everything, you know, layered that way, then I like to pour my egg mixture, you know, on there. And I don't pour it all heavy and fast so it moves nothing around because I got it the way I like it just so that it looks good. When I cut it, you know, you can just see the layers. And again, you know what, we still layering. And then when I'm done, then you're going to see me grab the milk mixture, uh, the egg mixture, and then we're just going to pour it in there. Now, once we finish, and you can see right now, look, it got a lot of nice color to it. This is an excellent dish for Mother's Day. You know what, so look, when I pour it, I don't want to pour it too fast. You just want to let it pour and let it settle. And as you can see, it, you know, it gets in all the nooks and crannies and, you know, fills up. And then I use the rest of it right there. 
Now here's a rule of thumb. When you pour it, you just want it to come up about three quarters of the way. As you can see, I'm a little bit past that. And I added some cheese on top of it. You know, you do not have to add the cheese on there because when you put it in the oven, you know that cheese, it'll give you that brownish look to it. You'll see when I take it out. But if you keep it right around three quarters of the way in height, even if you have some extra egg mixture left over, that's okay. Because what happens is when you cook it, you're gonna notice that it rises up. But as you let it uh, rest, and as you can see right there, see, look in the center, see how it rolls up? But once you pull it out and let it rest, it flattens out, gets nice and even, and that's it right there. There you go. You know what, a nice brunch quiche for you and your family, and especially for mom. Happy Mother's Day. So, I hope you guys like what you just seen. You know what, super easy recipe to do. You know, after you chop up your ingredients, you can put just about anything inside that. Listen, they have some signature uh, quiches. You got quiche Lorraine, then we got a, a spinach and ham quiche. I'm gonna make some of those too, but this right here, just you know, this is gonna be good for the whole family. Your mother gonna love it, you know? When you set this out along with some other uh, of my recipes, you know what? That's just gonna tell mom that you love her. Hey, so if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and take the time to just say, hey, you know what? Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and tell everybody there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out.